Welcome back or welcome to my channel, you guys. So today I am back with another hair video. Today's video is sponsored by Hermosa Hair. They were kind of to send me over this 13 by four lace frontal unit in 99J slash burgundy, 22 inches and 220% density, y'all. She fool, y'all know I don't do thin. But yes, I was super excited for this unit. This is the perfect fall color. Y'all know fall is here, so get your fall units. Gotta start bringing out the burgundies and the gingers and all that good stuff, chocolate brown, okay? get your fall wigs but yeah y'all i got a good one today i tried the little pinup style that's been trending lately i know y'all seen it i think i did pretty good on it for my first time so yeah i'm gonna stop talking we're gonna jump right into the video because i want y'all to see how i pulled this together y'all because i was struggling so yeah as always we're gonna start with the unboxing then y'all are gonna see the install and styling portion and then i will give y'all my review on this unit so if you want to see all of that then keep on watching Alright y'all, I'm back with another voiceover. I'm going to be showing y'all how I did this pinup style. So, the first thing I did was flip the wig upside down to hot comb all the hair downwards. Or if the wig was upright, then hot combing everything up since this is a pinup style. So, basically just training the hair in that direction so it will lay flat and it'll be easier to style once we put it up in the ponytail. Now I'm taking the rat tail end of my rat tail comb and I'm just parting out a few sections for the back of the hair to help everything blend better. This is a 13 by 4 wig so there are tracks so we want to do our best to blend all of that. Do not part in just one row of tracks. You know kind of skip a few so it'll be easier to hide them. So yeah this is not a full lace wig. We got to hide these tracks. Also I don't glue down or sew down the back of my wig so this also helps you know hide anything back there that may be going on. Now I'm just taking my wax stick and my hot comb and hot combing again everything upwards in that direction to train that hair to lay in that direction. I don't know why I didn't do that the first time I hot comb, but whatever. And then I'm also taking some got to be spray to slick everything up into this ponytail. We gotta lay it down, gotta lay it down. And as you see, I'm just taking my rat tail comb to comb that product through and comb everything upwards until I get it how I want it. Also keep in mind that the only part that's in the ponytail right now is the tracks. I've already separated the frontal, so we're only putting the tracks in the ponytail right now. Now I'm taking a rubber band and putting the hair in a ponytail. Y'all should know how to do a ponytail. I hope so anyway. If you're here and don't know how to do a ponytail, you got other problems. So this is where we're at now. I'll just put it up in a bun to keep it out of the way. Now I'm taking this temporary hairspray in the color burgundy. I got this at my beauty supply store. And I'm just spraying up in between. You see these little areas where the tracks are. That's how you hide that. I got this tip from Slay by Jordan. Y'all know he always comes through with the T and the tricks. So yeah, that's how you hide all that up in there. And yeah, here's the frontal again. I told y'all I separated the frontal from everything so it'll be easier for me to install. And I'm just blow drying the hairspray in the back so, you know, it ain't getting all over the place. So that was the hardest part to me. The hard part's out the way. Now we're getting ready to install. I'm just going to go about my install as normal. Y'all should know this process by now. But if you don't, I did mention in my last video that if y'all wanted me to do a detail install video, an updated detail install video, I will do that. And I did get a comment. So I will be doing that next week. So y'all stay tuned for that. Right now I'm just going to do my little sped up version that I always do. Next week y'all will get the detail install. I promise. And also, I left the frontal out again. I just wanted to reiterate that, that I left the frontal part out, like the hair out, to make it easier for me to install because if I slick it all up in the ponytail and, you know, when I be pressing the lace down into my glue, I don't want to mess up the ponytail doing that part. So I left all that hair out. But we're going to slick it up in the ponytail with everything else.
All right, so the install is done. Now we're gonna finish up styling. So I just parted down the middle and I'm taking my wax stick and hot combing those two sections that will be in the front. Y'all know the pieces that are hanging in the front that you saw in the intro. That's the sections we're parting out right now. So yeah, I'm just taking my wax stick, hot combing everything, parting out those sections and making sure that's flat. I should have made these sections bigger now that I think about it. I didn't realize it to way after the fact and I don't know why because I was looking at inspo pics of this style for over a week, but these sections should have been bigger. There's nothing wrong with how it looks, but I personally want a little bit bigger and I didn't even realize it until after I was done with the video. But yeah, I'm just taking these sections and clipping them out of the way so I can do some quick sideburns. I don't really do edges anymore. They just get on my nerves. I'm already not good at them. If it's one thing that's going to stress me out about an install, it's trying to do some baby hairs or some edges. So I really don't do them anymore. It's really not necessary for me. I just do some quick sideburns and be done with it. I do like to do a little bit more baby hairs when I do curly hair for some reason. Even then, I don't always do it. But yeah, I'm just doing some quick sideburns. That's besides the point. And then we're going to get started on putting the rest of this hair up in the ponytail. Okay, so it's basically the same process as before when we did the ponytail with the tracks. I'm just taking my wax stick to help everything lay down and hot combing everything towards the ponytail in the direction it will be laying. So yeah, that's really all I'm doing and I'm gonna put a rubber band around it and put it in the ponytail with the rest of the hair, that's it. All right, now for the curls, I'm just taking my wand curler and curling little sections, taking a bobby pin and pinning it in place. Basically like pin curls, you know how to do pin curls, that's basically what you're doing. In some sections, I leave out a little more hair hanging out of the bobby pin, so it's like, you know, little curls falling here and there, just to make it look a little bit more messy, I guess. But that's all you're doing, you're just taking sections, little small sections out of the ponytail, curling it pinning it down that's all you're doing this is the easiest part of this hairstyle to me y'all like that ponytail that's what killed me stressed me out trying to get that back straight and get everything all neat and nice and hide them tracks and all that in the back that's what killed me that's what took me the longest the front didn't even bother me when i tried to put the frontal part up in the ponytail that didn't take me long at all but that back killed me this part right here you home free when you get to this part this is the easiest part especially because the way i did my pinup style is more of a messy look i know a lot of people are doing them like that but yeah, that also makes this part super easy because it's not like it has to be perfect or anything because it's sort of a messy look, you know what I'm saying? You know, semi-messy, semi-neat, you know, you get what I'm saying. But yeah, we're just going to be curling everything that's left that you see straight, we're curling it.
All right, so now I'm taking my razor comb for those back pieces that we parted out at the beginning of the video and just trimming those down just to give it, you know, that like, you know, those shorter hairs that be in the back that didn't make it into the ponytail. That's the look it's supposed to give. And we are done, girl. Now let's get into this review. All right, y'all. So y'all just saw the unboxing, install, and styling portion of this video. Now I'm going to give y'all my review on Miss Girl. So let's start with if she's big hair friendly or not. Y'all know I got to give y'all that. She is big hair friendly. I had no problems getting her on, no problems and nothing like that so that's a plus always for me the lace was really easy to melt easy to work with as y'all can see or don't see yeah yeah it's not there it's not there this is my hair but yeah the lace is easy to work with and it's giving me 13 inches ear to ear it does touch both of my ears and my four inches back tangling and shedding it doesn't tangle but it does shed a little bit y'all know color units tend to shed a little more so it does shed that was one issue that i had with it also when i was plucking the unit i think i showed y'all after the unboxing or during the unboxing the hairline before and after i plucked it y'all i was having a hard time y'all this is one of them wigs with those stubborn knots that act like they don't want to come out i was literally like ripping at these knots trying to get them out but i finally pulled it together but that's another thing that i had a problem with was the knots being stubborn the density like i said in the intro is 220 percent density and she's full very full and i love to see it usually companies don't like to send me like the thicker densities for whatever reason but they were kind enough to send me the 220 percent density and i was very grateful and appreciative of that because y'all know i don't do thin you know i don't do that so no issues there she's very much full which is perfect for this hairstyle because you got to have enough hair to do updos and hairstyles like this you gotta have enough hair so perfect for this hairstyle the length i can't really do a length check obviously because all the hair is up but i feel like it was given 22 inches when it was down so we'll just say it passed the length check test i don't think i really had any issues with it bleeding like i know i had a burgundy wig before that like bled all over my hands when it was wet or when i sprayed it would got to be spray i didn't have that issue here i didn't see any dye on my hands so that's good and i really think that's everything y'all that's really all i have to say so overall i'm gonna give this unit an 8 out of 10 like i said the only issues i had was the shedding which is normal for color units but it is something to consider and the knots being stubborn when i was plucking but that's really it y'all other than that i love this unit like i really recommend it for the fall especially like the full 220 percent density definitely recommend it for the fall if you're into color and looking to try something this fall here you go. And it's not a bright burgundy either. I know some people get a little scared of color because, you know, the bright colors and stuff like that. But this is more of a darker burgundy, so this may be more your speed. So, yeah, definitely recommend it. If you want to purchase this unit for yourself, the link will be down in the description box below, as always. And be sure to check for a coupon code because there usually is one. So, check just in case. And that's all I got for you guys. So, yeah, let me know what y'all think of the style. Let me know how y'all think I did on it. Well, that is it for this video, you guys. Hope y'all enjoyed. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe to your girl channel, please. And thank you. And make sure your post notifications are on so you don't ever miss when I post because you don't want to do that. You don't want to do that. So make sure your post notifications are on. I'll see y'all in my next video. Bye.